Okay, but now it's time to say hello to our first guest. She's the Hollywood star who's been in the likes of Mission Impossible and the Oscar-winning sci-fi film. June, it's Rebecca Ferguson. Oh. Hello, Rebecca. Thank, Thank you for getting Hollywood in there. We got there. It oh, feels yes. so good and so relaxing. You are Hollywood. You are Hollywood. You are, you are. Well, you know, now, Swedish. this, obviously beautiful. Thank you, that's my home. Yes, Literally. you live on top of that mountain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we this, filmed it. Now, this yeah. is... Basically, what we will see in this new documentary mm. on BBC mm. is called Wild Scandinavia. Absolutely stunning. It is. And the reason that you're part of this documentary is because, of course, it's close to your heart, isn't it? Well, that I'm Scandinavian. <laughs> I'm Swedish. <laughs> Do you know what? When this... I keep on looking at it. I shouldn't. I should look here. But it is beautiful. It is beautiful. And it feels like home, oddly. Um, when I got the phone call... I, it was such a shock because I've watched Sir David Attenborough's programmes. Yes. And I show them for my children. So my son Isaac knows them by heart. Aww. It's like, should we watch Life episode four, mm. the one about the insects when they fight? Um, and then when this phone call came, it was sort of so odd and weird because it's such a treasure, like a, a chest yeah. of goodies, yeah, yeah. you know? So it was a, an honour and, and quite scary, actually. Yeah. Well, I before bet, you tell us more, this. we should have a look, shouldn't we? Let's have a look. Shall we? And it's wildlife. The voice. Mm. It's just quite, I don't know, there's one thing watching yourself, but hearing yourself is yeah. another thing. Yeah. Well, Were I you can... channeling Sir David Attenborough? I tried, but you can't, because no. I know nothing no about wildlife know. compared to him. Yeah. beautiful. Um, well, each episode yeah. explores what a distinct Scandinavian part of the landscape, essentially. But in the first episode, um, there's, there's a creature you become slightly obsessed with, isn't there? The eagle. I mean, how can you not yeah. become obsessed? My... And then they get kind of a stamp on them as a thieving eagle. I mean, it's just, it's like a film. Yeah. Gosh. Majestic. Yeah. Um, it's not just about the creatures, <laughs> though, is it? <laughs> Majestic. Um, it's uh, about the lovely people as well yeah. of Scandinavia. You meet lots of different people who do lots of different stuff. Um, some with quite extreme hobbies, mm -hmm. like base jumping. Oh. Yeah. The, the... <laughs> wow. Actually, Tuppens, who is one of the pro producer of this show, she said when they were up there on the cliff, they'd been filming. It was beautiful, and and you know she was in this outfit, etc. And then she's like, "Great, I'll see you guys downstairs or down there. I'll be there in uh, two minutes, and probably and you. Sure. It will take you uh, two and a half hours." And then she's jumped. She's wow. jumped because it was you know easier. But I mean, the you will always find the extremities of people adapting to environments. Mm. You know, when I was filming Mission, I know that there was a man called Malakai who does speed flying, and he was training Tom for some of the things that they were doing in Mission. Yeah. Um, but when you understand how dangerous it actually is, the environment, it is yeah. awe-inspiring. I mean, it's, it's so cool. Well, that's exactly what Tom was doing there, wasn't it? This, essentially yeah. speed flying, base jumping, yeah. that, that was it. I mean, you did... Oh, there he is. Yeah. Did you ever speak but see, to him about she wasn't it? getting paid really to do it. She no, just does it just because she likes it. it. Getting, but Tom does as well, yeah. I guess. So. <laughs> now, in the series, obviously, the camera crew would have been fighting slightly against the wintry weather and all the rest of it. Yeah. But you, in yes. Dune, a different problem mm. altogether. Now, tell us how hot it was in this picture. Well, thankfully. So we had the opportunity of filming between... I'm going to make it up. You weren't there, so I can say 3 a.m., yeah. really. <laughs> but no, no, the truth is, I think we had between 6.30 and 8 a.m. in the morning to film. And, and then it was... Because it. it became 53 yeah. degrees and we couldn't film. And cameras would melt. Team, I mean, security, we couldn't possibly. So we had, like, an hour and a half in the morning, two hours, and an hour and a half in the evening. It's kind of the dream job. I mean, Film? it's quite pool for eight hours. <laughs> but then think about when you have to go to bed oh, to yes. when you have to be in makeup. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, but no, it was. It's wonderful, isn't it? When you think about Mother Nature, I'm sounding all philosophical, but takes over and you just have to adapt to it. Yeah. Um, like the people, like the reindeer herders in these programs, who, by the way, use drones to herd the sheep, the, uh, the reindeers. Oh, do they? Sheep. I think we've, yeah, I think I've seen something like sheep. that. Yeah, definitely not sheep. No, but if I say it with a dark voice, you might believe yes, me. Yes, we, well, we would, because you know, you're now in a anything would work. Anything, anything That's right. it. No, but they do drones with, with their dog voices. To Very modern. Yeah. yeah. Technology, eh? Yeah. Unbelievable.
Thank you very much, Rebecca. <laughs> uh, well, you can watch Wild Scandinavia from New Year's Eve at 8.25 on BBC Two and iPlayer. Very Champagne good and yeah. Rebecca. Very good stuff. Uh, we'll be hearing more from Rebecca in just a moment. It's time to say hello to our next guest tonight. It's Paddy McGuinness. Hello. How are you, Paddy? Hello. hello. <laughs> Oh. Um, you watched that with a lot of interest because, of course, you volunteered last year, didn't you, at a food bank? Yeah, yeah, we've got one in Bolton uh, that we do every year. A slightly depressing. Every year you go, the, the queues are longer, oh, which no. is terrible to see. And, you know, I know certain people say it's life choices. It's not. You know, anyone can end up in that situation. So... Uh, it's really great to see films like that. Uh, great, but not great, if you know yeah. what I mean. So, But it raises awareness, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, good on you. Um, when, when you first uh, arrived in here today, Paddy, you, you couldn't help but notice the decorations. You kept mentioning them, but uh, here... I didn't, well, but I'll go with it. <laughs> If that's so, we want to pretend. I didn't say a single thing. I, I just think said, you did. I said, oh, no, where was George the stream. Clooney sat? Because <laughs> I want to sit there. That's what, I, that's what I said. George Cooney mentioned the decorations, yeah. though. And, I'll tell you oh, what, as well. whatever George I'll tell you says, what, I'll say. George wouldn't have done me like that, all right? Yeah. I'll tell you that. Um, it looks yeah. lovely, actually. Thank Thanks. you. There we go. We're back there on you track. There yeah. you got yours. You had to put yours up early this year, I hear, though. You're yeah, forced. peer pressure from the children. Once oh. they start talking about putting the tree up and everything else, that's yeah, it's that. It's got to be so. done. Oh, look at that. that. How private you are. Yeah, yeah. Look, there's Millie underneath the tree. That, that, that like tree coming? is packed, isn't it? It's ram-packed uh, to the rafters. But I, look, I, I am a real oh, look, it's Christmas touching. person. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Sorry, I'm interested in the cat. It's sweet. No, continue. That's Millie, the cat. Sorry, it yeah, was a stray. So we, we adopted uh, him. Oh, God, aren't but you a good person? Look at you. I oh. am fantastic, <laughs> let me tell you. But, uh, yeah, so it's trees all up. It's all done. <laughs> and, that, and, you know, roll on Christmas Day. Yeah. Is your tree up, Rebecca? Yes, it actually was up far too early, but because the neighbours started. Oh, you've got to go oh. then. But the thing is, I'm renting a place now. I'm not going to take it from you, but... <laughs> <laughs> so what happened to me? Well, no. Um, <laughs> basically, I'm renting a place, and yeah. where I live prior to this, I don't really see the neighbours. Oh. So it's mine. Oh, yeah. But now, the neighbours, the pressure... Competition And there was started. one tree after the other, after yeah. the other, and my daughter went, where's our tree? And I went, honey... It's coming. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's a domino effect. The tree. Do you have yeah. woolly things handmade Beg by people? Pardon. Uh, no, no, I don't have any handmade things on the tree. Great, full stop. I, I anyway. go, yeah, I go, I go to Costco <laughs> and I get it all in one you make fill own. swoop and then it's up. That's me. Then done. it's done. That's then it. it's done. Right, where are we on the real tree? Thing. Are we doing oh, this really? We're yeah. going to, yeah, okay. I, I mean, don't mind I'm talking. You, you, you're you're I'm the one who's gone into the Christmas thing. I'm fine. No, it's not realised. I like the idea of a real one, but it's a bloody mess. It's got to last as well, it? It's got to make it to Christmas. I guess. And it doesn't have the smell, but you can get these lovely sticks that you hook inside that smell of pine. Anyway, that's a whole different segment. Do you want to talk about your tour or not? Oh, yes, sorry. I'm on tour. We've just talked about nature here. Yes, right. Yes. Let's get back to the tour. Let's get on track. Come on. Right. Back on tour. People want to know. It's been eight years. It's been eight years. Yeah. I think. Firstly, when you when you're working, putting a tour, you it it takes a it takes a lot of prep. Yeah. So I've always been writing stuff, and then when we had the breather from Top Gear, I thought, right, now's the ideal opportunity. So it starts at the end of next year. Uh, tickets go on sale this Friday. Kaching. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then and that's it. I'll be away. But I am genuinely looking forward to being back on stage. You're nice. It's nervous as well, though. Sorry. Yeah, like, no. eight years. yeah, yeah. Well, you get on. nervous. Every single show you do, you get nervous. I think that's what drives you. But it's very, it's quite seducing being on stage when everyone's laughing and clapping and what have you. But I'm the kind of person. As soon as I walk off, I'm done. Yeah. I'm like, mm. oh, I'm ice road truckers on the telly, mm. and that's me finished. So. You know, I don't take it with me. Yeah. What is the, you know, because stand-ups often have a central theme, mm. don't they? What are you going to be talking about? I think it's just life, getting older, you know, the usual yeah. things. What's the Builders. Name of the show? Builders. Nearly the. Nearly the. Nearly, nearly, nearly there. The. <laughs> nearly the. 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 Her. As in, Add this to we're it. here. Yeah, but nearly <laughs> That's the. the. Okay. And the audience is. <laughs> The uh, the, no, the audience of people, yeah, human beings yeah. sat <laughs> looking at me. I think you're doing really well. Uh, and, yeah, yeah. Nearly there. Yeah. Uh, nearly, nearly there. There, yeah. yeah. How do you say it? I'm Swedish, so I don't know the, English. Nearly there. Nearly 
there. I say there. the. Is that D E R? Well, I think you're right. I'm wrong. I don't know. It's I, Paddy, this, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, always, sorry. It's it's always derailed Nestan when it comes. Oh. Nestandar. Nestandar. And if you have the. That's it? nearly the yeah. in Swedish. Oh, fine. Sorry. Yeah. I was. Yeah. Yeah. They've gone to a different language. I've not had a drink. No. But we're just. But everyone else has. It's Christmas, yeah. So, Peter Kay. Yeah. Who yeah. was Paddy's sidekick, right? Now, he is also going on tour. Look at that picture there. And oh, wow. Is it right? Gosh, that's an yeah. old picture, isn't it? Yeah. Is oh. it right that he tried out his comedy on you, like his jokes, before no, no, he went it, out? No, he didn't try it. I went round to his house before, because okay. he's doing this massive tour, just mega, mega tour. And, um, and he said, I'll do the act. Which, when you're in, we sat with your mate in Just the front for you. room. Yeah. Oh, it, it, oh, you go around to shear as you go out, do some skills on the car. you like, <laughs> yeah. don't need it yeah, out. Yeah, it's too much. So, yeah, 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 so we did the full turn. <laughs> I only went around for a cup oh, of no. tea. But uh, it's a good show. That's the main thing. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a good that's show. good. But he's on tour like, I think he's on tour for about another three or four years. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, we have to really quickly mention Inside the Factory. This is exciting. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is unexpected. Very unexpected, yeah. Mainly for Greg, if I'm being honest. Um, uh, yeah, we started it, but it's not until towards the end of 2024, right. I don't think. Can't wait. Yeah, for the I've already net. been at Quavers. Really good. Great. That's a treat. Um, thank you so Brilliant. much. Tickets for Paddy's stand up tour nearly there go on sale this Friday, 10 a.m. Yes, and you'll be able to see Paddy inside the factory next year. And of course, his brilliant documentary, Paddy and Christine McGuinness, Our Family and Autism, is still available on iPlayer. Uh, that's all we've got time for tonight. Thank you it's so much. It's been amazing. I'll be here with Alex tomorrow and be joined by actor Daniel Mays, Asa Butterfield, and Carolyn Quentin. We'll see you then and watchdog. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>